President Obama himself um, sounding, well, you can just hear him. He's just energized and he's raring to go and he's a new man, uh, full of vim and vigor and vinegar. And here he was speaking to a crowd of supporters at a Denver park this morning, just a couple of hours ago. Here's the president of the United States. Now, the, uh, the reason I was in Denver, obviously, is to see all of you. And I just, and it's always pretty. Uh, but we also had our first debate last night. And, you know, when, when, I, when, I, when, when I got onto the stage, uh, I met this very spirited fellow who claimed to be Mitt Romney. But it, but it couldn't have been Mitt Romney. Because the real because Mitt Romney has been end. running around the country for the last year promising $5 trillion in tax cuts Not in favor of the wealthy. Not even once. The fellow on stage last night said he didn't know anything about that. Okay. They're, the fact checkers even. Now, the fact checkers had some complaints about Romney. They had a lot of complaints about Obama. But read the Associated Press fact check. Mitt Romney has never once, not even once, called for a five trillion dollar tax cut. That is Obama propaganda. And it's crapola. And he's sticking with it. He continued. The real Mitt Romney said we don't need any more teachers in our classrooms. But don't boo vote. The fellow on stage last night, he he loves teachers. Can't get enough of them. The Mitt Romney, we all know, invested in companies that were called pioneers of outsourcing jobs to other countries. But the guy on stage last night, he said that he doesn't even know that there are such laws that encourage outsourcing. He's never heard of them. That's because the laws don't exist, sir. Never heard of tax breaks for companies that ship jobs overseas. He said that if it's true, he must need a new accountant. We know for sure it was not the real Mitt Romney because he seems to be doing just fine with his current accountant. Okay. If somebody wants to rise to the challenge, I mean, uh, we've looked at it. We've gone through all the fact checking. Tell me if there is one law that encourages companies to ship jobs overseas. What the president keeps saying is there are special tax breaks that go to companies that ship jobs overseas. It is a complete lie. It is garbage. It is rubbish. It is crap. It is unworthy of the presidency. It's unworthy of any decent human being, frankly. What he is talking about is this, is that when a company moves, if they move to Kansas City or Kuala Lumpur, if they move to Peoria or to Paris, It doesn't matter where they move, in the United States or outside the United States. Moving is a business expense. It takes away from your profit. You're making less profit, so you report less profit. That's how it works. That's how it's always worked. And there is no special break that is given to companies who move overseas. It is it is complete garbage. And the president keeps repeating it. What Romney said last night was outstanding. He says he has five sons, and sometimes they'll say things that aren't true, and you can say them over and over and over again, but doesn't make them any more true or make him believe them. The entire dishonesty of Barack Obama's performance, last night he was called on it. He didn't like it. So this morning he's doubling down with the lies and sounding like a whipped puppy. If anybody believes that the performance last night by the president of the United States was presidential, was dignified, it was substantial, we'll play you some highlights and lowlights. Oh, yeah, and there's some more embarrassing sections from his speech today. And what did Al Gore really say? Is Al Gore the goofiest guy in all of American politics? We'll be right back with that and more. 1-800-955-1776.